Well, now we're entering chapter three, which is continuity of a function. Um, it'll be very much related to what we did in the previous chapter. Um, many of the definitions will look almost identical, just a few little changes. And you all remember what it means from calculus. I guess you would say if a, a function is continuous, if you can draw the graph without lifting your pencil. Well, in section 3.1, we're going to talk about continuity of a function at a particular point. And let's call that point x0. Well, you will remember, based upon the way I drew this, it's a continuous function except for that point at x0, which you might, from calculus, remember that's called a removable, continu removable discontinuity. So if I pick up that point, if I pick that up and draw it in right here, I would actually have a continuous function. So the limit exists at x0, and the limit is not this number. It's this number. The limit is this number. But f is not continuous at x0. So let's take a look at the, at the definition of what it means for a limit to exist, and then compare that to what it means for a, sorry, for the function to be continuous at x0 versus what it means to, be, to have a limit at x0. Okay, so let f be a function from domain capital D into R. Let that be given, and let x0 be an element, any element of the domain. The function f is continuous at x0, that's what I'm defining here, at the one point x0, if for every epsilon greater than zero, you can find a delta greater than zero such that the following is true. If x is in the domain, and x is very close to x0 within a distance of delta, that means that the height of the functions are going to be very close. f of x minus f of x0 is going to be less than epsilon. And finally, if f, of, if f is continuous at every point in the domain, then we would just say f is continuous. You don't have to say, you don't have to say continuous at every point in the domain. If you say it's continuous, that's implied. So why does this limit exist at this point in the picture? Why is it not continuous? What in the definition prevents that from being defined as continuous at that point? Any, any, any thoughts, any ideas about that? Well, I'll give you a clue. First of all, in order to be continuous at the point, the function has to be defined at the point. The limit, this doesn't have to exist here for the limit to exist at x0. If I erase that, the limit still exists at x0. That's one difference. And the other thing is right here. We're missing the zero, don't write this down. This was part of the definition of, con of, uh, of the limit existing at x0. That implies that x and x0 cannot be equal to each other. Now they can be equal to each other. So effectively, if you do an L plus epsilon and an L minus epsilon, you cannot find a delta small enough To, to make a little neighborhood where all of the function values of every x in this interval falls in this little tube. This guy is not, never going to show up in that tube or for any epsilon smaller than that. So very, very similar the definitions are. 